There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Welcome everybody to the AP uh, Live Flash uh, weekly update call. Uh, today we have like some interesting things uh, to go through what I saw on my trading accounts, on my H4 uh, demo account, on my H4 uh, Live account. We are also uh, working on an update for Flash. Uh, that is going to be more active on h4 because we saw that h4 it's working amazing that's what i'm going to also show you with the results that we got this week and also the second month of the new year and then we also uh, started working on some uh, features that you're going to be able to decide how many pairs it can open at the same time uh, so like if you're trading on all different pairs uh, that it can open like simultaneously only like three or maybe four pairs at the same time then we also are discussing how we can implement our feature uh, that it doesn't trade the same uh, currency pair so let's say if it opens up nzd jpy it's not going to even open up nzd cat so we can only have like only one let's say pair with nzd open or whichever other pair so these are like some updates that we are working and discussing uh, to bring to flash because we see that actually uh, flash what i saw performs much better if we have more pairs running and lower lot size okay and i will show you this in the examples on my life account and also on the demo account so let's go now uh, to the share screen and i have here uh, my demo account and you can see that this week just flash was working like on steroids uh, we can see that it actually did like this week we are already up 5.77%, 1,343 uh, euros. And for this month, we are like approaching 13%. Uh, we are almost there. We are at 12.96%. Uh, what brings us to 8,240 uh, actually euros. So uh, we can also go here in the profit. You can see that actually like yesterday was like the best like record day. Uh, with flash we actually like closed out profit of 810 uh, euros so what it's like really like an amazing amazing achievement uh, so now we are averaging uh, 8.22 percent uh, on this demo account so this demo account i'm growing like let's say more aggressive uh, i will also show you the settings that i'm running and also i will be changing the settings a little bit uh, on this demo account uh, so we can make it a little bit more conservative it is still on the conservative side but i want it like that it doesn't open up so many trades uh, right now uh, we have like a lot of trades open especially on nzd pairs uh, and this is like why we're discussing that like if it opens nzd cat that doesn't open nzd uh, usd or any other nzd pair and you can see right now we are sitting at 6.17 percent in drawdown so nothing major okay nothing major uh, we also have like a lot of you know, really good performing pairs. Uh, we can go to the summary. And here in the summary, uh, we can see that like really still the best performing are USD 30 uh, with 55 trades and 355 euros in profit. Then we have uh, silver 66 trades and 286 dollars. Uh, GBP AUD. Uh, 67 trades 200 dollars euro cat so i'm still not running uh, these two pairs on my life account uh, i'm gonna wait that my account grows to at least like 5,000 euros 
uh, because I know like these pairs can like trend and I want to have more uh, margin, more money on the account before I put them to the live account. So I will also show you which uh, pairs I'm trading on my uh, live account. I will also uh, take some uh, pairs out and exchange them and I will also explain it to you why. So now we have like here also the FX monitor. Uh, if you don't have that app, like get it because it's really amazing uh, how we can see actually, especially with flash when we are trading more pairs and you can see this is like real time data. Uh, it's updated every 10 milliseconds. That's why I'm like really loving uh, the FX monitor uh, app for monitoring my uh, trading accounts. And you can see right now we are sitting at 5.92% uh, drawdown, so 1,400 euros. And you can see actually here AUD CAT is 0 0.33, uh, AUD NZD is 0.09%, 0 0.5. Uh, but you can see here uh, Euro NZD and NZD CAT all together, they have like 5% uh, drawdown. And you can see we have altogether 597 So you can see that almost 80% drawdown it's coming from Euro NZD and also NZD CAT. So this is like why we are like thinking about it. Like if it opens, let's say NZD CAT, it doesn't open also Euro NZD. So we can like even lower uh, this drawdown. But anyway, like it's not like big, big drawdown. Uh, we can also see here. Uh, let me so check something. Uh, we can also see here that actually like today the max drawdown was 8.87%. Uh, and we can also check like what was the biggest drawdown since we started this account of 6th of December. And you guys can see 7%, 6, 7. The biggest drawdown was actually 8.64. 8 so this was uh, on 10th of February. So right now we are still sitting on the low, low uh, drawdown. So nothing major. And then uh, also what I want to show you, I want to show you actually the settings uh, that I'm running on this account. Uh, give me the second so you can see here I'm running all every single pair. But what I will change uh, with the next week when all these uh, trades get closed down uh, on the trades on pairs that we already have all the trades uh, closed down. Uh, I will actually already change this and what I will change, I will change this thing here. And I will show you, just give me a second. Uh, so I will change here because uh, I have like a version that I can ena enable this. Uh, I will change this because you always have it to true. So what I will do, I will actually do here, as you see, max trades pips. What I will do, I will go here with one per every, uh, every five uh, pips, okay? So this is what I would say like aggressive side, okay? If you want to go more, more conservative, just put one, for every 10 pips then if you even want to go more conservative put like one for every 15 pips <clears throat> more conservative one per 20 pips and then you have like one per every 25 pips so that means like right now uh if the market moved like let's make an example here of this account okay uh, let's spread this up a little bit so right now you can see the market like moved against us uh it started selling uh, but the market moved against us for altogether uh, 90 pips, okay? So if I would set it here and that one trade for every 25 trades, every 25 pips, then I would have like only four trades open here. If I would say one trade per every five pips, then how many trades I would have open here? So it's like 90 divided by five. So I would have like around, how many trades? Like around... 10 trades, I would have like 10 trades open. So right now I don't have that setting on, but I will change that uh, because then the drawdown can be even like smaller, smaller. But if we look at the market, like how flash it's like actually working, uh, you can see that flash, it's like taking the trades really nice. And what I mean, like tra uh, taking the trades really nice, uh, you can see here the flash started taking trades. Here were the first uh, resistance was you see here is the resistance on h4 so it's like started like selling 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 and then here in between you see it didn't open any trades why because the next resistance it's like up here so uh it really times the market really good on h4 and we can go like also like a little bit through other pairs and you can see here it was selling then we caught this drop here uh again we caught the drop here aud nzd this is like the last trades uh 
and then you can see here we are buying uh, i still think that it's going to come like a big move up uh, aud usd uh, what are we doing here i think that we are selling yeah we have like sells here and we are all already up 14 euros on aud usd also cat swiss franc you see we cut sells cat jpy the same thing we are selling all three positions in plus swiss jpy uh euro aud you see like if you can see like where euro aud it's like standing uh we can like expect like a big 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 uh move to the upside you also see where we can uh, we caught like the sell position like all the way on the top and i really love it like how flash it's working on h4 uh euro swiss franc you see we caught this drop we caught this buy so it's like really amazing uh then euro gbp we also caught the buy euro jpy didn't have any trades open euro nzd yeah it happens uh also these things can happen and why because like if you see here uh it dropped actually euro nzd dropped for 340 pips so right now we are how much uh in percentage right now we are 3.9 percent in drawdown nothing major uh that we are running aggressive because this account is like running 0.01 uh, per every 250 if you would be running like aggressive well i tell you aggressive like one pair for per every 500 then it would be only uh 1.5 percent in drawdown but again i think that like it's gonna be a uh, big move back to the upside on euro nzd euro usd it's not moving a lot the <laughs> last few uh, last two three weeks uh it's standing it's waiting for something that it looks like uh, then we have gbp aud okay you can see here buys already all buys in plus uh we already secured 24 dollars uh we're waiting to get to 36 dollars then the trailing stop plus is going to come in okay also buy limit on gbp cat you can see sell sells amazing how it trades gbp jpy we got the sell gbp nzd we are in buys also gbp nzd if you look uh amazing positions uh for buy so i love it like how it works uh gbp usd we also caught the sell nzd cat uh it's in a bit, little bit bigger drawdown nothing major uh 526 dollars and let's go back we can see it's 2.14 percent in drawdown altogether again nothing major uh then let's go back nzd swiss franc what are we we are selling we are in sales perfect sales position we are up 10 dollars uh, right now i think uh then we have like here also nice nzd jpy nice sell positions so you can see and get like a feeling how flash it's actually working on h4 you can see here sell positions again on nzd usd so i think we're gonna get like nice nice profits usd swiss franc uh you can see here what we are doing we were selling now we are buying usd swiss franc back up usd jpy what are we doing here we have sell positions also here looks like a nice sell on silver we don't have anything and on gold we don't have anything and let's see german 30 we bought buys no sells and also here we uh caught buy so it's working really amazing on uh, h4 now let's go also to my uh, life account so we can see what it's on my li life account i actually li my life account i don't even have it on my phone i don't have it on this small computer uh like <laughs> i just like check my uh, life account like once a week every saturday i go and check it so i don't even know uh how it's standing what it's doing right now uh you can see here uh this week we are up 0 0.58 uh, percent uh this month 14.19 uh, percent so 63 euros on a thousand five hundred dollar account uh i'm running here uh six pairs one pair per uh, every 250 dollars i will also show you which settings i'm uh, using right now we are seven percent in drawdown uh nothing major uh, again we are caught i think in nzd cat uh, this is the pair that i'm gonna exchange when it closes the trades i'm gonna put another trade on and we are also in gbp aud uh, buys and also here it's nothing major and aud cat we are in sales so i think all of this is going to close uh, in profit and also which settings i'm actually using on this live account uh, i sent this uh, i created like a little page for you guys so uh, what i'm doing every single week so you have like everything on a one page 
Uh, and you can see here what I'm doing on my life account. On my life account, this is okay. This is my life account. So you can see I'm trading altogether 0 0.6 slots on a 1.5k. So this is like aggressive account. Uh, okay, and you can see right here. Let me, these are the settings uh, that I'm running. You have a screenshot and I'm running, you see, I'm running 0 0.01 and I'm multiplying my lot size with 600. So I have, go for a little bit bigger uh, take profit and I'm trailing with two. So I multiply my lot size with 200. As you can see, I am max trades enable uh, to 25. I have it to 25. And then I also have max trades pips enabled uh, to true. And I have one trade for every five pips. Okay. So if you want to go more conservative, as I said, you can say put one uh, trade for every 10 pips, one trade for every 15 pips, one trade for every 20 pips, one trade for every 25 pips. But I wouldn't go like more, uh, like, like even higher than one trade for every 25 pips, you know, because uh, we can uh, cut like nice moves. And also uh, it's like really nice. You can see that there is like not a lot of drawdown uh, on one uh, on H4. So this is why I wouldn't go here more than one to 25. And also here uh, I in give you like the input so you can know take profit settings for Flash Pro. So if you want to go more conservative, uh, then you go cash trail start lot size multiplied by 300. I will show you why. And also here cash trail buffer lot size, uh, you multiply it by, ah, sorry, here has to be 100. Yeah, 100 and then it's going to be 1. A moderate, it's like 600, so I'm running moderate, uh, 600 and 200 and then aggressive, it's like even bigger and that we trail with uh, 2. Okay, so why I'm saying that this is like aggressive? We can take a look on one of the pairs so we can see where it happened. I think it happened on Euro NZD. Okay, yeah, it happened on Euro NZD. And you can see here, uh, we had max profit was already reached 21. Okay, you see 21 got reached and then, but we had like cash trail start by 27. And because it didn't go up for six more euros, the cash trail wasn't activated. And you can see now, instead of getting like out with profit, we are now in drawdown of 773. So that sometimes it's better to go to for a bigger profit. Sometimes it's better to go for a smaller profit. So if you want to be more conservative, let's say you see we have it here 0 0.03 to multiply by 900. If we would multiply it with 0 0.03, with 600, uh, the cash trail start would be 18 and we would be taken out of the trade. So this is what I mean uh, with cash trail. So you will uh, understand better and everything here. Uh, you have like uh, how I set up what I check for uh, in flash and then you have like all the settings here. So uh, I will also add here a link uh, with questions, uh, Google form where you can ask questions that we can go through uh, on the weekly calls and that I can also answer them and also put them inside here. So we can like create this a little web page even better for you. So you can just send it out uh, to your customers so they know how to set up Flash uh, properly. Okay, let's see if we have any questions. No sounds. <laughs> Results smells like lamb is coming soon. Yeah, <laughs> I wish, I wish. Stochastic works better with real assets indexes is one of them not surprised us 30 does well uh so yeah uh jockey if you have like any other i can put like maybe other uh, indices also in so we can see how it's working while having too many trades instead of increasing well, instead of increasing this with three trades you have you have you thought about making the stock trigger more tight uh stock trigger more tight so what do you mean that i would do it oh so that it would actually wait for trades that the trades would get cancelled uh, sooner depending trades or that i would put the stochastic even higher now it's set up to 90 and 10 you think that i would put stochastic to 95 or to and five what did you mean with that yes now it's 10 and 90 so you think i should put it like higher i can try that so we can see how it's gonna go <laughs> Okay, 793. Okay, I'm gonna put that down and let's go. Uh, we're gonna now it's the new month, it's coming. So for uh, March, we're gonna be running 70 and 93. We can try it like this. So the whole March, we can uh, try it uh, and run it like this. This is a good idea. 
so we can see and also i will start doing like the back tests myself so uh we can like get really like good good uh trades out but i think that like h4 it's working amazing that you guys are gonna be impressed not a lot of drawdown nice profit and if we can keep up that we are doing let's see here if we can keep up that we are doing actually how much like uh 10% how much we are doing now 8.22% if we can like average this for the next two years poo, this is like uh really amazing that we don't have a lot of work to do and let's see compound interest okay and let's say if you have a how much is now on the account now it's on the account 25k and just imagine if we can average 25 25k and we do how much was it 8.22 8.22 monthly and let's say for the next 36 months okay let's calculate this i think it's a pretty good result if we can like average eight uh, percent a month and like that we keep the drawdown under ten percent we can like all be like really really uh, happy and i think that flash is just gonna evolve like through everything and we're gonna make it better and better uh, is there any more questions maybe uh, switch the life account yes it refers profits congratulations yeah uh it starts like bringing in profits and the market is gonna start move better and better now because it's like in march it starts moving like really nice so i think these are gonna be like now one of the best uh months and the next six months so i think it's going to be like really good and i love it that it, there is not a lot of work involved with flash once it's set up it's set up and then you can just enjoy and you can see like how nice it is because once we are running like more pairs with a smaller lot size uh, you can see we will always have trades inside you can see like here one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 pairs are like being traded at the moment so there is always going to be some action there is always going to be drawdown there is always going to be profits and hey guys if we can like make uh 2800 <laughs> euros every single month i think that everybody would be uh, happy with a side income that we don't have to do a lot uh so yeah this is it if there is like no more questions are there any more questions okay there is no more questions so uh thank you everyone that joined in live uh to taking the time out of your day to come listen to me live everybody else that was uh, watching the recording thank you also for watching the recording and guys see you next wednesday on the flash weekly update call and also i will create as i said the google uh, uh google form so you can put in the answer so we can also uh put in the answers uh questions and answers into that little uh, website that i prepared that i'm sending you out every single saturday guys again have a great day and i wish you a lot of success with trading there is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading forex binary options stocks or equities collectively asset classes only risk capital should be used for trading trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results no representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell.